Hello everyone, welcome to all in your paid education. My name is Manish Singh and today I am going to discuss with you a few important questions for upcoming uh, examiner of patent design exam, correct? So let's say they, these questions uh, are from strength of material. So this is first practice seat and this seat is available in the website. So if you want, you just go through the website and download it, correct? So let's see. Uh, as we know, uh, in this exam, we have pre as well as mains and in the mains uh, we have one descriptive paper and the whole paper belongs to technical portion, correct? Your technical domain. So, strength of material is very, very important topic, uh, very, very important and for this exam and it has very huge weightage, correct? So, from this subject, you can easily get around 60 to 70 marks, correct? Out of 300, correct? So this is very very important. So now in this session I am going to discuss with you few few important uh, questions. So let's see one by one. And obviously if I talk about uh, some important topic of this subject, so the stress strain diagram. This is very very important topic for this. And uh, another very important uh, important topic is that is the uh, strain energy concept. So how to calculate strain energy? How to calculate resil resilience? How to calculate toughness? And all these things. Correct. And the next topic uh, that is uh, combined stresses and Mohr circle. This is very very important topic and many times we saw in uh, question asked from this topic, correct? And the next topic if I talk about then bending stress analysis and especially uh, in if I talk about bending stress analysis then they ask question little unconventional type, correct? Means you direct question beam load then you just find out the Bending stress. What will happen that some uh, L say beam, T say beam, kuch bhi aise beams will be and the load is acting somewhere uh, uh, other uh, at the eccentric position, correct? So first you need to shift that load from eccentric position to centroidal position and then you need to find out what type of stress is actually induced, correct? So what happens is that both it, uh, all the concepts like a bending stress, shear stresses in beam, torsional stresses in beam, all topics are covered in only one question, yes or no? Is it clear? And along with this uh, combined stresses topic are also covered with the help of this question. So this topic is very very important and you know how to draw Mohr circle. Mohr circle is also very important because sometimes aise question aate hain to bina Mohr circle ke problem solve nahi ho sakte. Is it clear? Okay, so now you can see here I am uh, giving you some question like uh, you can see this question belongs to a uh, first chapter that is axial analysis of bar. So simply you need to calculate Poisson's ratio and some uh, modulus of elastic values from this e expression and now you can see and again you can see from this uh, this question you can see here here we need to find out what type of stresses induce the amount by which uh, how much sort in or compression takes place so this is very simple topic uh, means axial is uh, you could high actually high care, that is axial stress strain means how much axial load is acting and because of that how much expansion takes place, how much compression takes place, how much stress induced, yes or no and what are the permissible limit, is it clear? Okay, next uh, again you can see here the same topic and same question, this question belongs to thermal stress strain and especially in this I covered a whole concept of thermal stress strain, is it clear? You have read three concepts that is uh, pre expansion uh, fixed uh, bar fixed at both ends and third one that is if partial yielding is allowed is it clear so all these things are covered in this question so and you can see another question this is from mr stress strain diagram so here you need to calculate uh, you can see if a specimen of material is loaded like this then you need to calculate modulus of resilience both before and after the loading and you also need to calculate how much plastic strain is still there after unloading correct and now again this question from same topic here you need to calculate plastic strain and now you can see here you need to calculate shear strain generally uh, for gate exam or for engineering services exam we only study about how to calculate linear strain correct how to calculate longitudinal strain lateral strain volumetric strain yes or no but uh, sometimes we see in the previous exams uh, they ask uh, some question from shear strain. So this question belongs to shear strain. How to calculate shear strain at different location? Is it clear? And now you can see this is a system of uh, pa bars in uh, parallel and in this we need to design how much extension takes place on these uh, strings and how much reaction induced, correct, due to this load. And this is again, this is from uh, shear strain concept, yes or no? 
and this is you can say this is like this is uh, not a conventional type मतलब means आप इसको generally ignore कर देते हो that's why I'm covering this क्योंकि previous कुछ exams हमने देखे कि यहाँ से question पूछे गए तो might be chances है कि आपको question देखने को मिले इस exam में भी इसलिए हमने इसको यहाँ पे cover किया है and after that this is from Barsin series and you can see in this we need to calculate torsional shear stress yes or no and from this you need to draw it's the shear force and bending moment diagram correct and uh, this is uh, in this you need to calculate uh, maximum bending stress and generally you have a uh, moment of inertia in the question but in this first you need to calculate by moment of inertia of, of this and you need to calculate a uh, section more uh, section modulus for different sections and here you can see at this point v point we need to calculate the stress at the top fiber we need to calculate the stress so for this you need to calculate section modulus for different sections yes or no so from this way first you need to calculate bending stress maximum bending stress and then you need to calculate section modulus from this and then you can able to uh, find shear uh, bending stress and now you can see in this question you can see here this is a this is a problem in which the load is acting somewhere here which is uh, which is acting at the eccentric position yes or no this is uh, this is eccentric position and you need to find out stress at this position yes or no so first you need to shift this load from here to here then you will get how much loads may act and because of those loads how much is how much stresses may act and along with this you need to draw its a state of stress condition at point a so the detail analysis detailed knowledge complete comprehensive knowledge is required for solving this question yes or no and now you can see uh, in this question again this is uh, this question belongs to a combined stresses you can see here you need to you can see in this we have a state of stress condition and first you need to draw how to draw its state of stress condition correct question may have uh, language form with the then you need to draw first how to represent state of stress and after representation you can see what are the things are given here the maximum normalization max pe aapko kya pata karna hai? you can see generally generally hum kya calculate karte hai? maximum normalization and maximum shear stress but in this question what is mentioned here and similar kind of question already asked in the engineering services exam is it clear in 2014 so maybe sometimes in this exam like this question may ask because uh, direct shear stress nikalna, direct bending stress nikalna, to har ko aata hai. but if they twist some uh, if they provide some twist then it is very difficult for the student so you are ready ho. then maximum normal stress at kya karna? we need to calculate maximum normal stress at maximum shear stress plane correct and similarly you need to find out you can see the maximum shear stress at normal stress plane where the normal stress is zero yes or no so this is not a very conventional problem this is very lengthy question correct you you need to identify where you have maximum shear stress and at maximum shear stress plane what type of stresses what uh, maximum normal may induce and similarly you need to find out zero uh, stress at which the normal stress is zero and first you locate that plane and after location of that plane you need to calculate how much normal stress act at that plane sorry I, how much shear stress act yes or no and what is the position of that plane so like this similar kind of question may ask and again you can see this is from uh, bending stress analysis and torsional stress analysis well, both uh, things are covered by the this question why because first you need to shift this load from here to here then you will get some twisting moment some torsion some uh, bending moment and along with direct shear stress may act and along with the, the here we have axial stress so because of these types of stresses because of these type of loads first you need to draw its state of stress then you can able to solve this problem and again this is from com uh, combined stresses so combined stress is very important that's why i'm giving you few three to four questions and you can see now these two questions from a uh, strain correct here you need to calculate strain row set this question belongs to strain row sets so here you need to find out what uh, how to determine principal strain yes or no maximum shear strain with the help of these strain row sets yes or no and uh, now you can see this is the question from uh, deflection of beam here you need to calculate deflection maximum deflection as well as the slope at the free end yes or no correct and uh, this is uh, from hollow or solid shaft so like this i covered entire uh, approximately throughout the syllabus uh, few more question is needed like a uh, theory of uh, column and uh, theory of filler and thin pressure vessels so these things i will cover in the next session correct 
so this in this pdf we have 24 questions and if you are if you are preparing for this exam examiner of patent design then you need to practice this question yes or no correct and along with this one good news for you guys and your pd education team provide you a, a special module for this exam and especially descriptive key preparation abhi se start ho chuki hai and if you have not joined uh, this module then you must uh, join this module because every day we provide three to four questions practice for each uh, for uh, subjects one by one correct and if you join this then definitely you, uh, your confidence may boost up and your preparation जो होगा वो बहुत अच्छे तरीके से हो पाएगा करेक्ट है तो ये ऑलरेडी बैचेस स्टार्ट हो चुके हैं अगर आपने ज्वाइन नहीं किया देन यू मस्ट ज्वाइन दिस बैच दिस इज वेरी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यू गाइस करेक्ट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस सेशन थैंक यू एंड कीप प्रिपरेशन